Okay guys, we're doing something totally different today. Uh, I have been thinking that I've seen alligator tracks over on Lake Ray Roberts. And so we're actually, I heard another independent verification or a, a independent witness say the same thing that I've never known or talked to. So it's a rainy day, rainy spring day, and we're going to go alligator hunting. Now the first thing you need when you go alligator hunting is a good supply of your own backyard organic hard-boiled eggs. This is the fuel of champions. It's one of my secrets that I haven't ever told before, but these hard-boiled eggs are awesome. Now, the second thing you're going to need for this is some new music. I think Saren probably be a pretty good choice, so we're going to try Saren on the radio as we go. And then the third thing we need, I really can't show it to you, but it begins with Smith and ends with Wesson. And uh, in parentheses, pre-band. So uh, that's what we're going to take. See what we can find. See how it goes. Hope you enjoy the ride. This may be a wild one. I'm a little scared. Can you tell? <laughs> All right, guys. One of the secrets to a good hard-boiled egg is salt. So what you do is you take your salt and put it in a Ziploc bag like this. Drop your egg in here. Close the bag. Don't be stupid. Close the bag. And you shake it up like that. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And now you got a salted, hard-boiled egg. You know, I figure if I get eaten by a gator, at least I'll be soft in the middle. Softer in the middle. <laughs> so anyway, getting ready to go out here. It is crazy crowded. There must be a fishing tournament going on or something. And for those of you wondering where we're looking for gators today, we are looking north, east, Ray Roberts. And we're parked at the Buck Creek Access, so we'll see what we can find in the way of gators. The water, I can't believe they're fishing. Anybody's fishing today. The water is the color of dark coffee. So we'll go take a look. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys, it's a hot, humid day for March, but I'm not sure what I found here, but we can take a look and see uh, who these bones belong to. Let's take a look at this right here. I'm not sure about these bones, but if you take a look at that, it's got a nice little ridge along the back Like that So maybe you guys out there you scientists can tell me exactly what I'm looking at here um, as far as bones and uh, Maybe we can figure out exactly what we got going on here still a little skin attached there and uh, Not sure exactly what we got, but there's something sign of something right there and I'm not sure what it is um, piece is missing of course so it's hard to know what we're looking at for sure but anyway that ridge along the back makes me think doesn't it make you think there we go guys let me show you what we got here this is uh this is that skeleton i found a while ago and i went ahead and trekked down about another i don't know mile i guess half a mile and I'm just kind of going along the side here and seeing if i can find any more signs of alligators and i sure didn't but I'm, i came back and wanted to show this skeleton one more time here just to see if maybe anybody can id that and tell me what that is it's still got it's still joined together so it's pretty fresh but uh that's what we found here on the uh, Buck Creek access. Is that right there? And I marked it with GPS. So if you want to come look at it, feel free to come on out here. And here's another piece of bone work here. Maybe somebody out there can tell me exactly what we're looking at. Because I sure don't know what that is, but it looks uh, interesting to me. If that is a gator, that's probably the only one that was out here and didn't quite make it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Something a little bit different uh, this Saturday. We've got a a lot of boats just buzzing around here, some kind of tournament going on on Lake Ray Roberts, but anyway, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you this week.